Introducing the Hyundai Instaroid EV concept, a daring fusion of digital culture and high-performance design. This visionary concept reimagines Hyundai's compact electric SUV as a bold, motorsport-inspired machine, featuring a dramatic widebody stance, oversized rear wing, and signature pixel-style LED lighting that gives it an unmistakable edge. Step inside, and you're immersed in a cockpit built for virtual and real-world thrills alike, minimalist, track-ready, and outfitted with racing bucket seats, a roll cage, and a digital dashboard reminiscent of a high-end gaming rig. Though not slated for production, the Instaroid EV concept serves as a bold statement of Hyundai's design imagination, blending the adrenaline of racing with the immersive energy of gaming to hint at the electrified future of automotive excitement. Imagine this as a revolutionary jet slicing through the skies in the final years of World War II, unlike anything seen before. The Horton Ho 229, created by visionary German brothers Raymar and Walter Horton, broke boundaries as the world's first jet-powered flying wing. With its radical tailless design, wooden frame, and twin junkers Jumo 004 turbojets, it pushed the limits of aerodynamics and stealth decades ahead of its time. Conceived to meet the Luftwaffe's bold, 3 by 1000 goal 1000 kilograms of bombs, over 1000 kilometers, at 1000 kilometers per hour the Ho 229 aimed to deliver unprecedented speed and range. Though it never flew in combat and only a handful of prototypes were built, its sleek, radar-dodging form would later inspire modern stealth aircraft. Today, the only surviving Ho 229 rests at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, a silent icon of innovation and a bold leap into the future of aviation. Imagine reaching space without rockets just a smooth ride straight up. That's the promise of the space elevator, a bold concept that could turn sci-fi into everyday reality. Anchored at the equator and extending 35,000 kilometers into orbit, this towering structure would use robotic climbers to transport people and cargo, drastically slashing the cost of space travel and making off-world missions far more accessible. Japan's Obayashi Corporation envisions building one by 2050, but the dream hinges on an extraordinary material, something incredibly light yet tens of times stronger than steel, like carbon nanotubes or graphene. If scientists crack that code, the space elevator could usher in a new era of space exploration, industry, and even human settlement beyond Earth. The BMW electrified wingsuit redefines the boundaries of human flight by fusing traditional skydiving with cutting-edge electric propulsion. Developed through a collaboration between Austrian skydiver Peter Salzmann BMWi, and Design Works, this revolutionary suit integrates two compact carbon fiber impellers on the chest each spinning at 25,000 rpm and generating 7.5 kW, for a combined thrust of 15 kW. Powered by a 50-volt lithium battery, the system delivers up to 5 minutes of mid-air propulsion, pushing speeds beyond 300 km per hour, 186 miles per hour, and even allowing altitude gain during flight. After three years of rigorous development, wind tunnel refinement, and more than 30 test flights, the electrified wingsuit stands as a thrilling milestone in sustainable aviation and high-performance aerial sports. The Kenworth Super Truck 2 is a bold leap into the future of freight transport, combining next-gen aerodynamics with breakthrough efficiency. Backed by the U.S. Department of Energy and developed over six years, this concept semi-truck delivers an astonishing 136% improvement in freight efficiency over its predecessor achieving up to 12.8 miles per gallon. Inspired by bullet train design, its low-drag silhouette features innovations like a reverse blade chassis and full wheel enclosures, cutting aerodynamic drag by nearly half. Powering this futuristic hauler is a 440-horsepower Packard MX-11 engine enhanced by a 48-volt mild hybrid system, pushing thermal efficiency to an industry-leading 55.7%. Inside, the cab is reimagined for both function and comfort, with a center-mounted driver's seat, a 15-inch digital control hub, and a transformed sleeper area featuring a Murphy bed and rotating table. The Supertruck 2 isn't just a concept, it's a roadmap for a more efficient, 
sustainable, and driver-friendly future in long-haul trucking. Worldview Enterprises is preparing to redefine space tourism with its upcoming Explorer capsule flights, set to begin in 2024. Unlike rocket launches, this high-altitude balloon-powered experience will gently lift passengers to the edge of space, reaching over 100,000 feet above Earth. The journey lasts between 6 to 8 hours, offering unparalleled views of the planet's curvature and the iconic thin blue line of the atmosphere, an awe-inspiring sight typically reserved for astronauts. Designed to carry eight passengers and two crew members, the Explorer capsule offers a spacious, pressurized cabin for maximum comfort. Priced at $50,000 per seat, Worldview is positioning its flights as a more accessible and sustainable way to experience space-like conditions. Beyond just sightseeing, the mission is to foster a deeper connection to Earth, inspiring a new era of perspective-shifting exploration just shy of the stars. Meet Corleo Kawasaki's visionary robot horse that's pushing the boundaries of robotic mobility and lifelike motion. Built with cutting-edge balance control and multi-joint articulation, Corleo mimics the natural gait of a real horse, capable of walking, trotting, and potentially galloping across challenging terrain. This four-legged machine isn't just a technical feat, it's a functional companion for logistics, emergency response, and even personal mobility. Developed by Kawasaki Heavy Industries, Corleo showcases how robotics can merge with biomimicry to create machines that move and interact more naturally with humans. Designed for versatility and resilience, it opens new possibilities for human-robot collaboration in both rugged and urban environments. Corleo is not just a mechanical steed, it's a bold leap toward the future of smart, adaptive mobility. Blue Origin, the aerospace venture launched by Jeff Bezos, is reshaping the future of space travel with a bold vision, to make living and working in space commonplace. At the heart of its mission is reusability, exemplified by the new Shepard rocket, a suborbital vehicle that has carried both research payloads and private passengers to the edge of space. In a milestone flight, the company sent its first all-female crew including Lauren Sanchez and Katy Perry into space, offering them a stunning view of Earth and moments of true weightlessness. But Blue Origin's ambitions extend well beyond brief suborbital journeys. With the upcoming new Glenn Orbital rocket and the Blue Moon Lunar Lander, the company is collaborating with NASA's Artemis program to return humans to the Moon and establish long-term lunar infrastructure. From launching tourists to building the foundation for permanent off-world habitation, Blue Origin is working toward a future where space isn't just a destination it's a home. Hydrogen fuel cell trains are ushering in a new era of eco-conscious rail travel, offering a zero-emission alternative to traditional diesel locomotives. Instead of burning fossil fuels, these trains use hydrogen fuel cells to produce electricity, with the only byproducts being water vapor and heat. This technology not only slashes greenhouse gas emissions but also contributes to cleaner air along railway corridors. Leading the charge is the Corridia i Lint, the world's first hydrogen-powered passenger train, which began service in Germany in 2018. With an impressive range of up to 620 miles on a single hydrogen fill, it has become a symbol of innovation in sustainable transit. Its success has inspired new initiatives around the globe, including California's Zemu project, which blends hydrogen fuel cells with battery power. Together, these advancements are redefining rail transportation, offering a cleaner, quieter, and more sustainable future for passengers and the planet alike. Autoflight's carry-all EVTOL cargo aircraft has officially taken to the skies in Japan, signaling a major leap forward for autonomous air logistics. Known as the V2000CG, this fully electric, two-ton vertical takeoff and landing aircraft recently completed a successful demo flight in Okayama Prefecture, backed by Japan's Civil Aviation Bureau and mobility-focused non-profit MASC, built for low-altitude cargo transport and emergency supply missions. Carryall plays a central role in Japan's Satuchi Community AAM Infrastructure 2028 initiative. Earlier in the year, 
it also made history as the first EVTOL over one ton to receive certification from China's aviation authority. With this milestone flight, Autoflight has turned autonomous heavy lift air transport from concept to reality, setting the stage for the next generation of smart, sustainable logistics. Wartzilla Vision Step into the future of maritime innovation with Wartzilla's groundbreaking vision for the shipping industry. By embracing digitalization, automation, and sustainability, Wartzilla is transforming the way cargo moves across the globe. Picture a world where ships no longer waste time idling in ports, with just-in-time arrivals that optimize fuel use and reduce emissions. Imagine modular factory ships that go beyond just transporting goods, they manufacture products while at sea, adding value during the journey. At the core of this vision is a smart marine ecosystem, where vessels, ports, and logistics systems are seamlessly connected through advanced data analytics, ensuring faster, cleaner, and more efficient operations. Wartzilla is leading the charge toward a smarter, greener shipping world, where technology, efficiency, and environmental responsibility harmonize to create a sustainable future for global trade. The Philippine Mars, one of the last surviving Martin J.R.M. Mars flying boats, stands as a living legend in aviation history. Delivered to the U.S. Navy in 1946, this massive seaplane originally served as a long-range military transport before finding a second life as a firefighting aircraft in British Columbia. In 2025, it embarked on its final journey, lifting off from Spro Lake and making a poignant stop in San Francisco Bay, where it soared over the iconic skyline as a tribute to its Navy roots. The Philippine Mars then made its way to Lake Pleasant, Arizona, where it safely touched down for the final time. After completing this historic flight, the legendary aircraft was carefully transported to its permanent home at the Pima Air and Space Museum in Tucson. This marks the end of an era, ensuring the Philippine Mars will remain a cherished symbol of aviation heritage for generations to come. The Transit Elevated Bus TB, also known as the Straddling Bus, was an ambitious solution aimed at alleviating urban traffic congestion. Designed to allow regular cars to pass underneath while the bus straddled two lanes of road traffic, this electric-powered vehicle had the potential to carry up to 1,200 passengers at speeds of up to 60 km per hour, 37 miles per hour. Although initially met with excitement and pilot projects in China, the TB encountered significant challenges related to feasibility, safety, and infrastructure integration. These issues, combined with allegations of investment fraud surrounding its developers, ultimately led to the project's cancellation. While the TB highlighted the potential for innovative urban transportation solutions, its journey underscored the difficulties of transforming groundbreaking ideas into practical, scalable systems. The Arian Supersonic AS-2 was set to revolutionize business aviation with its ability to reach speeds of up to Mach 1.4, dramatically reducing transatlantic flight times. Featuring advanced aerodynamics such as a supersonic natural laminar flow wing, the AS-2 promised a quieter, more eco-friendly alternative to traditional supersonic travel, all without the need for an afterburner. Combining speed, efficiency, and sustainability, it was poised to redefine the future of luxury air travel. Despite its groundbreaking design and high expectations, financial hurdles led to the closure of Arian and the cancellation of the AS-2 project in May 2021. However, the AS-2's legacy continues to inspire the aviation industry, fueling ongoing efforts to make supersonic, sustainable flights a reality. The dream of faster, more efficient air travel remains alive, driving innovation in the quest for a new era in aviation. The Cadillac Flying Car, or Vertical Takeoff and Landing VTOL, concept, represents a bold leap into the future of urban mobility. Designed by General Motors, this autonomous, all-electric vehicle combines cutting-edge technology with Cadillac's signature luxury. With a single rotor enabling both vertical lift and horizontal thrust, the flying Cadillac is crafted for efficient, short-distance urban travel, reducing congestion while offering a high-tech, 
stylish alternative to traditional transportation. Reaching speeds of up to 56 miles per hour, 90 kilometers per hour, this futuristic aircraft is designed to provide seamless, efficient travel within crowded cityscapes. The concept embodies Cadillac's vision of a future where advanced technology and elegance merge, offering a sophisticated mode of transport that could reshape urban mobility for years to come.